Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will start working with Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is about word processing using Microsoft Word 2010. In this chapter, we will introduce the student to basic feature of Microsoft Word and its all environment. We will cover some topics like how we can create a new file, how we can type a text and edit that text, and then how we can insert some pictures, uh, charts, and uh, tables. First of all, we need to know how we can open Microsoft Word. To open Microsoft Word, click on the Start menu and then All Programs. Then open Microsoft Office folder. You can see here that Microsoft Office includes more than one program. One of those programs is Microsoft Word 2010. Microsoft Word 2010 icon is a square, blue square, inside uh, this square there is a W letter. Click on this icon, a new environment uh, appears, which is Microsoft Word environment. Now, first of all, we will have um, a look. What is this environment? What are the components here? And what are the word features? First tab, this tab, we call it a title bar. Title bar includes the file name. And on the right hand side, we have a close to close the uh, application. We have maximize to maximize the window. We can restore it again. We have minimize to minimize the window and keep it on the taskbar. Then when we click on it, we will maximize it again. On the left hand side, we have undo and redo. Then the save button. This is a quick access bar. Whenever you click on the small arrow beside the quick access bar, you can um, add more uh, items here, just like a new, open, quick printing, beside, save, undo, and redo. Let us go a little bit down. We have here the, our main menu, set of tabs. We have file tab, home tab, insert, page layout, references, mailing, review, and the view. Each tab includes set of groups. Here we have a clipboard group, font group, paragraph group, styles group, and editing. Some of the groups has a dialog box. The dialog box includes other features which is not appearing on the uh, main uh, menu. So for example, we have here some features to how to change some font features. If we click on the dialog box, you can see some other additional features here. Uh, the story is the same in insert tab. We also have a set of groups, page, tables, illustration, links, header, footer, text, and symbols. Page layout, which is the tab. Here we can change all the page properties like changing the margin, orientation, size, columns, and the references. We will go through insert footnote and end notes. We will not discuss mailing in this uh, course. Review, we will go through spelling and the grammar check, the word count translate, and in the view, we will see different type of uh, view options. This white paper in the middle is the working area. This is our page. We call it a page. This is page one and it's written here down page one page we can add more than one page you can do um, uh, add by cl clicking on Control enter you can add a new page and at the bottom we can see here there is page uh, one out of two which uh, shows you the current page you are pointing to number of words you, are, you already print and the language you are using and then on the right hand side we have different view options here and then zoom in and zoom out we have also the scroll on the right hand side and sometimes we have scroll also at the bottom if your paper is a landscape orientation 
how we can type uh, easily you can use the keyboard in order to type a text I will write here for example Sultan Kabus University Now, whenever you type a text, you can do some change on this text by selecting the text first, and then you can change the font name. Here we have the font name is Calibri. We can change the font name to Times New Roman or Arial. You can also type here the font name required. We can also change the font size. Now it's 11 we can change it for example to 18 you can also change the font case and use lower case upper case or capitalize each word or toggle case we can change the font style to bold by clicking on B or to italic by clicking on I or we can add an underline under the selected words the underline we can change the underline style we can change the underline color and we can also go through more underline and use underline words only underline words only means don't put an underline uh, under the space We can also change the text uh, background color by adding a specific background color. We can change the text color itself. Sorry, we have to select the text and then change the text color, for example, to red. You can also remove the background color by selecting no color. We can change and add some effects to the text by changing the outline weight or outline color. You can also add a shadow, different type of shadow, for example, offset right. You can add another text effect like reflection. And you can add also another text effect like glue. Coming to the paragraph side, we can change the alignment to the center, for example. We have left, center, right alignment. We can change the justification, justify high, low, medium. If we have more than one line, say for example, uh, we wrote here Sultan Qaboos University, we can write basic computing skills and you can change the line space between those two lines this is the line space you can keep it one reduce or increase the line space or you can select line spacing options and from line spacing select single line space double at least a specific point or exactly specific points or you can select multiple if we have a um, different language here we are writing or typing in a different language you can change your language or your orientation between left and right we can add a border to the text, select the text, and then select borders. Either add bottom border, top border, inside, outside, if you have a table. Or you can go to borders and shading, and then select a specific setting and a specific type. You can add a color, and then select the width, then press OK.
this is uh, the set of options which we can do uh, them using Microsoft Word in order to change the text format. Let us come to the view tab. What we can do here, we can select the print layout view, which is the normal view we already use. We have full screen reading. We select this view when we need to use the document for reading in a full screen. Close to go back again. We can select a web layout to show our document as a web page or outline layout, draft layout. You can also add this ruler at the top or you can remove it. We can add grid lines or remove it. We can add navigation pane to search about a specific word or remove the pane. You can zoom in and zoom out your document. You can decrease the size or increase it. We can display our document as one page or two pages or go back again and zoom in and zoom it to 100%. If you do something and you want to uh, cancel the last step, in this case, you will select undo to cancel the last, last step. While redo returns the last step back. If you want to copy a specific text, just text, select the text and then right mouse click copy, then go to other where in the document and either you use Control V on keyboard or right mouse click paste. This is almost the most important points which you need to know while changing the text format. Now after creating your document you need to save your document. Click on save to save the document, change the document name to test1 and then keep it on your desktop. The default Word document has the type of Word document. We can change the type into Word 97 or PDF file and then press OK then close the document. This was an introduction about Microsoft Word.